Speak. Need you to get something for me. A hammer. A weapon. No. A forge hammer. Little thing. Symbol of the old resistance. Guild, solidarity, all that. Or it used to be anyway, till the Aesir buried it under that big gaudy dwarf statue in the bay. Might do the dwarves some good to see it again. You're not worried that might draw the Ain Haryar's attention? The old father nearly slit my throat just to get to you. I might be both giving a shit what he thinks. Just find me at the bar when you've got it. You'll certainly be able to reach new areas in the bay with that spear. Aye. Might be worth looking for Darlin's hammer while we're at it. Your choice, of course. Fair. Where is Seagram now? Impossible to say. She's on a mission spanning the realms in search of our lost sisters. Our hope is if she can bring their incorporeal spirits to Vanaheim, we can find a way to restore them to uncorrupted forms. Well, Freyr got it into his head that he could improve relations by sharing our magic with them. Vanir techniques for bountiful harvests, enough to feed their whole population. Getting set on fire was the thanks he got. That's true. The Aesir were too un... If memory serves, we're heading in the right direction to find that large dwarven statue. Durland's hammer shouldn't be far behind. to uncover its riches. I feared it was too dangerous, so I came along and was, well, seemingly proven right. Is that why you haven't moved on? My son, I suspect he went in search of the second half of the treasure. Please find him and tell me his fate. If you require a reward, you may help yourself to the treasure. It doesn't matter to me anymore. We were sailors once. Left Midgard to seek our fortunes elsewhere. We were so close to succeeding. The remains are old. My boy, the sun is sure I'm so sorry. sorry. It costs us little to make sure. <laughs> Looks like a room slate. Best get your chisel out. Oh, 
Emma. Still in one piece after all this time. Unlike Durlin's resistance, I suppose. We will take this to him. Muspelheim seat is now complete. We should find a mystic gateway. Perhaps we'll find Surtur's combat challenges.
Nothing good can come of this noise! Up there! Ripwood! Coming this way! Oh, I felt that one, brother! Behind you! Watch out! <laughs> Between the creatures and all the debris, no one could have made it out of here alive. and all the debris, no one could have made it out of here alive.
great. Why exactly do you keep popping up, little one? Does your boss have you spying on us? No, 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 that wasn't our intention. You must believe me, I am here solely to serve as a guide, but, but only if you want. It's standard procedure. Well, you can rest easy. We'll get these back to Ratatoska. Thank you. And again, sorry if I offended you. I, I promise I'll be more helpful next time. Jumpy little fellow, huh? must open up just ahead. I can see the rubble from here, brother. Feels like we're in the right place. There's some there, brother. We will find the ghost, sir. Really? His request isn't a distraction? He does not know his son's fate. I see. Okay, then. Have a way through that door. Found something good? Yes. This aisle seems abandoned. Oh! <laughs> 
Another Berserker Gravestone. Father. Speak, spirit. Is that... Father... I can't see you. I wasn't quick enough. I'm so sorry I abandoned you. Your father is dead. What? How? He went to find the other treasure on his own, to spare you the dangers. It seems that in your efforts to protect one another, you each came to one of these islands on your own, and... I've been such a fool. But... Thank you, thank you, for telling me. Perhaps now, we can see each other again. What a shame. In their attempt to spare the other, they both perished. There is a lesson there. What now? We will retrieve the treasure, then return to the father. What for? To finish what he and his son started. That water wheel's getting no water. Something appears to be atop that island. Perhaps the treasure the spirit spoke of. Stop squirming. You did it, Master Kratos! A spectacular job! Keep it up and you'll become an expert in no time. Can't tell if he was patronizing, or if that was just plain sad. Both. We could use that lift, but not by the time of down, but it has to stay that way. <laughs>
There we go. Quite the cash. I see why it meant so much to our lost treasure seekers. Perhaps we should go tell the father what became of his son. <laughs>
Meeting the Lady of the Forge really brought back some memories. I thought it was only in my homeland you'd see such things. Mermaids who forge weapons. Aye. I remember very fondly a late nymph called Nimue. Very talented with a sword. Mumia. I meant that literally. Shame on you. She made the best swords in all the isles and had big dreams about what she'd do with them one day. I wonder what became of her. If I don't have it, you don't need it. Anything for Freya? Does this work? Please say yes. Need something? Want something in particular? Gonna keep it spatter-free this time, right? Kratos? It fits. Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. Keep it spatter free this time, right? Kratos? It fits. Whatever you need, I'll create. Now, just because you've got new armor doesn't mean you should let yourself get knocked... Around more. Very well.
That Zorga. Well, it hurt. Reminds me of tales of a cruel empress. One too angry to die. We will see. Did you make the spear? Wait, no. Brock has to be the one to tell me what happened. I'm just gonna pretend I was never here. The yellow one. What is it? Where did it come from? It's a very loud horn, and I've not the faintest idea. Mimir. No, truly. No one knows where the Gallahorn originated. Odin just gained possession of it one day. of your son oh please tell me he died trying to find the other treasure he didn't know you were doing the same no 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 this is my fault he disobeyed your wishes yes because that is what sons do i should have brought him with me we'd be alive and rich beyond all reason together don't blame yourself he is at peace. Nevertheless, thank you for finding him. I'll seek him out in Helheim. I'm glad we did this, Kratos. Yes. And I'm sure Atreus will be as well. Yes. Rubbish! What? Rock's bloody riddle. What gets bigger the more you take away? I can't let that blue twat beat me! If you are this <laughs> upset, he already has. Mumir, you may continue, but Freya. Oh, yes. Well, the Aesir grew all too easily impatient with the subtle agricultural magic Freya had offered to school them in. So when things went wrong, they blamed their teacher. So Freya was a guest when Odin burned him? Not exactly. Odin didn't mind locking Freya up. He saw the potential of the magic and wanted to know more than how to improve crop yields. It was a mob of lesser Aesir, bitter and short-sighted, who tied him up and lit him aflame as punishment for the sabotage they imagined him guilty of. And we'll just stop there for now.
I came by and took out an Ainhair Yard patrol. Area should be clear. Can't speak for the rest of town. Guess an occupying army is as good as a lockdown for tamping down foot traffic. <sighs> you again. I hope you're back to clean up the mess that extra head of yours made. We have done it. Doesn't fix what I did, but hopefully it makes things a bit better. Let's be off, brother. Your hammer. Thanks! <sighs> Might not mean much with Odin's goons stomping around the city, but folks see this and they'll know we haven't completely given up. Not yet. <laughs> Never expected to see this thing again. Derwin. Kratos! Sorry about earlier. Talking about your wife like that. Do not be. No! Let me apologize. Feeling the old father's spear in your back makes a man want to set things right. Your silence on the matter is enough. Ah. If you say so. You spoke of resistance. Instead, you drink. Oh, I've got plans. That you know nothing about. Coming together as we speak. Meantime, I don't plan on my soul pass floating to Alfheim Stone Cold sober. When the Aesir run me through, I'd rather be too hammered to feel it. You are staring. You're a tough man not to stare at. If the dwarves had your strength, Odin would have never gotten as far with his place as he did. My strength has little to do with my body. Yeah, sure. Derlin. Are you to thank for the newfound fresh air sliding up our nostrils? We turned off the mining rigs. So you did. Let's pretend you did so in a manner consistent with the 97 part safety regulations handbook written specifically for the operation, maintenance and deactivation of said mining equipment. Do what you will. <laughs> Well, thanks anyway. Means a lot. Now that you have a weapon to deal with Heimdall, we just need to find a way to get to him. Aye, if that's still the plan. It is. I will protect my son. So, then it seems the original plan to avoid Ragnarok has fallen a bit by the wayside. That is up to Odin. Yes, that's rather what concerns me. Listen, brother. Those things he said to you... His words are nothing. True, though I expect retaliation is no empty threat. We need to think through the ins and outs of it. You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's see if Sindri has had any luck. You're home again. 
Seems we met another of your detachable emotional apparitions. Bit too twitchy to tell us his name, though. Ah, you must mean anxiety. Oh, no. Why are you talking about me? What did I do? Oh, you should have heard the shit they were talking. Sadly. What? Oh, dear, oh, dear. There was no such talk. Shame on you, bitter. Are you sure? Yes, anxious. No opprobrium to be found in this discourse. I was merely making your acquaintance with our adventuring friends here. Ah, people! Well, there it is. Here's I what suppose I, I need to take up more of your time. What a rambunctious bunch! Now, you hulking dingbat. Do the thing! Oh, look at that. She's special, that one. Ain't gotta tell me. Have you found a way to reach Asgard? Um, not as such. Had a few ideas, but they didn't so much... work. <sighs> Brother, without a way to Asgard, what are we doing? I do not know. I need to think. I am tired. So, you're sure nothing unusual happened with the lady? Nothing at all? Nothing whatever. Smooth as snail shit, like I said. Why? It's a reason you're... Where are you going, brother? Sleep. So, we're just keeping blindly on, then. Hoping we don't walk headlong into Ragnarok. Is that your plan?
Kratos. You all right? Well, your father seems very ready to go. Shall we then? This way, Grumbles. Do you enjoy the gentle waves, little one? Your father and I traverse this river often. One day, you will learn to navigate its waters. We live deep in the wild woods. The most beautiful forest in all of Midgard. And it is safe and serene here. Game is plentiful. And you will want for nothing. We're not far from the place your father and I first met. We nearly took each other's heads off. But he's softened since then. Somewhat. Fortunately for you, he remains dreadfully stoic. <sighs> I suppose it will fall to me to teach you language. Your father can teach you to hunt. Or perhaps that will fall to me as well, since all he seems to be good for is grunting. Have you nothing to say to your son? What would you have me say, Faye? Anything. Let him learn your voice. Let him know you. It is far better off knowing as little as possible. Knowledge is not always a burden. <laughs> to think the mighty god of war, frightened of his own child. I do not fear our child, Ray. I fear for him. Innocent. We are not our failures. We are not who we were. We must be better. Atreus is our future. Keep him safe, Kratos. Protect our son.
What did that wall ever do to you? I'm building focus. Something my father taught me. <laughs> did it work? Not yet. So, what you focusing on anyway? Controlling my emotions. Heimdall keeps trying to make me lose my cool. Ugh! I can't give in to it. Dude, hey. It's true. Okay, be cool. Training without me? <laughs> that a that a good idea? Training? I mean, I, I think it's a great idea, but uh, won't your mom be mad if she finds out? Good point. But did you consider? Uh, no, it didn't. It didn't hurt. Also. Mm -hmm. Anyways, grandfather wants to see you. Oh, grandfather. Right. Okay. Uh, here, then take this. And uh, send my regards to Sif, Lady Sif. And uh, Atreus, see you later. And Thrud, bye, Thrud. <laughs> Midgardian boys are so weird. Weird can be good. This is the two of you, I swear. What's in the jar? Milk curd, mom's favorite. It's his way of helping. Grandfather's in his study. Catch up later. Nice. Whoa, I can use this. Hmm, nicely equipped. What needs work? <laughs> 